Good evening, Americans who ignore BC's pandemic travel restrictions are going to have a harder time sneaking into our province with what's known as the Alaska loophole. The federal government is cracking down on border cheats with a new system to identify Americans, but already there are questions about whether it will actually work. CTV's Penny Daphlos is at the Peace Arch border crossing with more on the new rules. Well, this Penny? is probably the best known border crossing in the province, but anybody coming here claiming that they're on their way to Alaska is actually going to get sent to Abbotsford. And this crackdown comes as the BC RCMP tell me that six Americans have now been ticketed and fined for violations of the Quarantine Act in our province. Starting at midnight, Americans who want to travel through BC to Alaska will have to not only answer regular questions, but also get one of these tags hanging on their rearview mirror directly identifying why they're in the country. There are only five border crossings where Americans can get the hang tag and the approval to travel on to Alaska. Three are in BC and none of them are near major cities. It's good PR optics for CBSA, but where's the meat? You need teeth in the immigration enforcement system. So handing out a paper tag to be suspended from the rear view isn't gonna cut it. While instructions to go to Alaska as quickly as possible with the fewest stops possible are clearly on the document with fines, jail time, or a travel ban on the table for rule breakers, one of BC's most prominent immigration lawyers finds the crackdown light on details. You've got to register the driver and the passengers in the immigration computer system. You should be using electronic monitoring to see where they're going for three weeks. Cross-border traffic is down more than 90%, but some people are still coming in for legitimate reasons, and there are permanent or long-term residents with American plates. I, I think it's great. I think that's a really helpful uh, step, um, and it is something that we uh, that I'm uh, thankful that has put in, been put in place. With roughly one in 100 Americans now infected with COVID-19, the border's been shut down to non-essential recreational travel since mid-March and will be until at least August 21st. For now, Americans who should not be stopping will at least have a clear indication of why they're here. So the question that I have been hearing again and again since this news came out is why now? Why did it take so long? CBSA will not give me an interview to be able to ask a bunch of those questions. And we do know that whenever it comes to dealing with the United States, there are always complex political considerations.